finished my interview. I think it went very well, although I would really hope Ooh, that looks nice back to my job. I really hope I can work in an international firm, but I'll take whatever I can get at this point. Good morning! Well, I think today I might just go home for a little bit just because I'm so tired of staying in a hotel for so long. Hold on. It's such a nice day out. Ignore all the mess down there. So just look at the view. Not really the view. It's not the best view, but I just want to show you how nice the weather is. But I really do want to go home for a little bit just okay. since I already got a couple of job offers and I'm just waiting for another interview which I'm not even sure if that's gonna happen because it's a really difficult job uh, but I'm not sure if the team wants me, I don't know if I should push it or if I should just be like, you know what, I'm gonna give up and do what I'm good at rather than force myself into a new area of work I feel like it's such a great opportunity if I can get it Ugh, life why is it so hard? But I, deep down, I just don't want to fuck up, you know? I get it, okay, there's a learning curve when you start a new job, but I'm just so anxious because I don't want to fuck up and then the team's gonna be like, who the fuck is this girl? And why is she trying to fuck up our job? Mm -hmm. Maybe I should put on some makeup. No, it's fine, who cares? Should I go home or should I stay here for another week until the interview and then go home and then I don't know. Ah, oh, mama mia. Okay, I need to call my mom. Okay guys, update. I've decided that I'm gonna go home for the week. So I need to pack all my shit and leave it in the hotel. Guys, I'm heading to H&M. Yeah. I need to go get a bag to pack my stuff. back back in shanghai just had another interview today i think it went well um hello it's me from the future from the editing self just to clarify the interview that i was anticipating moved to, to next week and the interview that i went today was from an international firm how weird. Back to my job. I really, I really hope, hope I can work on this. And I just got the offer letter. And here I am, still not satisfied. Still waiting for the job that I want the most. The heart wants what it wants. I'm still waiting. It's been four, almost four months. Oh my God. It's almost April. It's literally March 30th at this very moment it's been four fucking months i got this everything is happening for me for a reason i don't even know how i feel it's like i have this mixed emotions because sometimes i'm worried about if i've made the right decisions in life you know, you know i've left new york which I thought it would be easy, but let me tell you, it has not been easy. I didn't realize how long I've been away from China and 
Now I'm having a culture shock. I don't know, man. I'm just so stressed out. I shouldn't be. I mean, I picked this life. I picked this path. Of course, it's not going to be easy. There's no easy way out, isn't it? You know what I miss most about New York? It's the people. It's the, it's the vibe. Everyone's so open-minded. Okay, maybe not everyone, but most of people. Such a big melting pot you will like if you go to new york you definitely will find a group of people that you can vibe with it can be like the weirdest thing like you can be both loving crystals and that's not weird at all that's super common now but like i don't know like maybe you like exchanging affirmation okay that's not weird either but yeah. and i just miss you know all the positivities i receive when i'm hanging out with my friends there So if you're in Shanghai and you're into crystals, affirmations, meditation, spirituality, just leave a comment and maybe we should hang out. Maybe we can start our own group. Oh gosh, I also miss candles. I want to I wanna get those wish candles. I don't want to buy it online. Here's another thing. Everything in China, you can buy it online. Super convenient, but... I love going to a store and picking up and smell every single candle and feel it, vibe with it. Okay, that sounds weird, but you want to connect with your candle before you purchase it, like right? You want to connect with a material thing before you purchase it. Like for me, I need to have a spiritual connection with the things that I own. They all have souls. Come on. Anyway. So here's my update, still stressed out, still living in a hotel, still looking for a job. If you're in the same position, just know everything will be all right, okay? I swear, hopefully by April, when I update a new video, I'm gonna be like, guys, my wish came true. I need friends. I'm so lonely here. Oh my god, all I do is study, 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 and prepare for that one final interview. I've been preparing for it for four months, and god, I just, I'm not good enough for it. I just, it's never good enough. But you know what? I am very grateful. I have someone who's helping me to prepare for the interview. I am grateful that I have a roof above my head. I'm glad and I'm grateful for the juice that I can drink every day. And I'm so grateful that I have warm clothes. I'm grateful for everything. I'm grateful for this experience. I am so grateful for my phone so that I can watch TikTok and make videos. I am grateful for my headphones so I can listen to music that makes me feel happy and sometimes sad. I'm grateful for the world so that I can experience this human experience. Oh God, what else am I grateful for? I'm grateful for myself. I'm grateful that I'm healthy. I'm grateful that I um. I don't have any pain at the moment. I'm grateful I'm not getting any cramps even though I'm on my period. I am grateful that I can hopefully express my feelings. Can't you see? Um. Anyway, that's it for today. I'll see you guys very soon and report on my update. Wish me luck. Puku,